everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to talk about identity theft in the church in this video. Um, and as I have been thinking about this, it has literally been blowing my mind, and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, there was a movie that has come out just recently, and I didn't get a chance to see it. It looked really funny, called Identity Theft. It's where this um, woman takes, somehow gets the identity of this man, and she begins to live out his life. She begins to do... Uh, the things that she could not do without having his credit, his name, and whatever else, you know, that came along with his identity. And um, so, you know, I just saw the previews of this movie where she's shopping, she's living it up, she's living a high life and all this, that, and the other. And it's all because she has another individual's identity. And I believe so strongly that what is going on today in the church is a case of identity theft with those who have infiltrated the body of Christ. They have come in and they have said, I am a prophetess. I am a prophet. I am an apostle. I am a bishop. And what is really going on is identity theft. You see, because many of these individuals have some sort of outer appearance uh, that can make one think that whatever title that they have given themselves is authentic. So now, I've been listening just recently to so many people who have these so-called titles and who say they are uh, sent from God and they have a word from God and I can't, I can't narrow it down to anything other than identity theft. Let me, let me give you an example. A lot of these prophets and these prophetesses, as they call themselves, and, uh, and I've talked about it a little bit before, um, they come and they say certain things. Uh, they might talk about what they see as far as... Uh, getting material things. They might talk about, you know, what thus saith the Lord regarding someone's season or what they're going to get or how they're going to be blessed. They say these things and what is supposed to validate what they say is the title that they carry, prophet, prophetess. That is identity theft. Simply having or being labeled, having a title. You see, now when this woman, let's, let's go back to this for a second. When this woman uh, in this movie took the identity, however she got it, of this individual, um, she don't walk like that man. She doesn't talk like the man. She has no way about herself that is even closely, that even closely resembles the person that she took the identity from. There's nothing in her that resembles him. In order for her to continue to live out his identity, she has to lie. And so here's what happens. In order, in order for an individual to say, I am a prophetess, let's say, That individual who has stolen the identity of a prophetess has to lie. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where all of these lies are coming from today. 
all of this that you're hearing that is not biblically sound, that is that is not focusing on Christ, but focuses on the individuals that they are that are they are so-called prophesying to. We can say prophesying to. Um, all of that is a lie. And the reason for the lie is because that individual, those individuals, um, they have to lie in order to live up to living in someone else's identity. They have to lie in order to live up to being uh, a true prophet or to present themselves as being a true prophet or prophetess. Now, um, and so they go about with these lies in order to try and validate who they are. Why I say that these are lies is because number one, like I said, it's not most of what they say is not biblically sound. Um, and it, it is not uh, focusing on Christ. It doesn't focus on like Paul said, you know, I say to know, I, I know nothing uh, except Christ and him crucified. All this other little stuff, these frills and chills and things of that nature, um, don't really at, uh, point to Christ. You know, they might throw it in there every now and then to, to throw you off. But uh, at, the, at the end of the day, um, that is not their agenda. Uh, so let's move on with this. So they have, um, they have stolen an identity and they have said, I'm prophetess, I'm prophet, I'm bishop, I'm apostle, what have you. So they have to live a lie in order to validate that claim. Um, and that's, like I say, where all the lies in the body of Christ from these individuals uh, who are guilty of identity theft, all the lies uh are perpetuated. Now, um, another thing that happens is when you've stolen identi uh, an identity, you have to live a lie in order to present yourself as authentic, just like the lady in the movie. What you also have to do is you have to change the definition of what um, whatever it is, uh, in this case, we'll say prophetess, you have to change the definition of what that is. Let me explain. There is a heated debate that has been going on for the past several years regarding marriage. So many individuals uh, who are in favor of same-sex marriage um, are saying that marriage should be between or can be between the same sex. The argument to that, which is, in my opinion, a very powerful argument, says that marriage means a certain thing. Marriage, by definition, means man and woman. So if you call marriage man and man, you're calling it marriage. That's identity theft. You're calling it something that it is not. So in order to call it that, you have to change the definition. In order to call marriage between man and man, woman and woman, marriage, you have to change the definition. Marriage means, the definition is man and woman. Prophetess, prophet means that you exalt Christ. It means, like Revelation says, uh, uh, 19 and 10, that the, the um, testimony of Jesus, the testimony of Christ is a spirit of prophecy. So if you have other things happening that don't attest to Christ, you don't have the spirit of prophecy. In other words, you've changed the definition. And that is what these people who are guilty of identity theft in the body of Christ have done. They have literally taken a title, living a lie, and ha in order to sustain that lie, have to change the definition. 
I'm going to continue on this subject in another video and um, because I have so much to say about it. Uh, but I guess this is what you call my introduction. Thank you so much for tuning in and be blessed.